Okay, we are back. I'm very happy to have on the Goldstein on Gelt show Jan Lukat, who I've actually known for many years, although he doesn't actually know that I've known him for so long because I, I've been using the product that he developed and brought to market uh, from a company called Paymo. Jan, it's a real honor to have you on the show. Thanks for having me, Doc. So I'm really can- glad to be on the show. I could tell people all about the product because, frankly, I'm very excited about it and is something that I have uh, spent a huge amount of time using. Uh, but maybe you could give people a little background. What is Paymo? Sure. Um, Paymo is an online uh, project management tool that uh, has a strong uh, focus on uh, time tracking and time management. So it basically helps companies to uh, manage their project better and uh, gives them insight into how they spend their time and how they can optimize their time and hopefully move their projects forward. Okay, so let, let's define it a little bit differently and look at it from the standpoint of a user because it's actually a very easy-to-use product. What does it look like when someone wants to keep track of his time using Paymo? Well, uh, say you're a consultant or, uh, I don't know, someone who charges uh, for their, their time. Uh, and and uh, you get to a point where you want to uh, have a clear view on how much time you spend to complete certain types of tasks or certain projects. And uh, some people do this by uh, making notes or using Excel, or uh, more advanced users uh, tend to use a, a software like ours that allows you to easily track what you're doing, and then you can create reports and estimates very easily for future projects. So one of the things that you've also pointed out is that Paymo can also be used for purposes other than just for business, like at home or just sort of managing your day. How do people use it for that? Well, uh, we have uh, users from all kinds of uh, domains and certain people use it to track their uh, every day-to-day activities. So, for example, we have students tracking their time on how much they spend on studying or um, professionals that uh, are really obsessed about uh, having a very clear view of how they spend their time each day and tracking everything down to the last minute. So it can be very insightful to see uh, how you actually spend your day and not how you imagine that you, you spend your day. Right. I think that imagining thing is critical. I've actually been uh, keeping track of my time literally for decades in the office. I read a book by Alec McKinsey called The Time Trap. It must be 20 years ago already. And I think this is the classic book about keeping track of your time. And when I first read it, I literally did it on a piece of paper. I'd write down what I did because I realized that, like you're pointing out, some of the most successful people, business leaders, they're not wasting time, but they always seem to have free time. And I wanted to know why that was. And I think it's simply because when they keep track of their time, it's something that they can more easily handle and really more easily understand. Is that that your experience too? Absolutely, and uh, we've seen this uh, at personal level, but it's even more striking uh, when you look at organizations because employees tend to uh, overestimate the time that they spend on completing a certain task, uh, or on the other hand, they tend to underestimate certain tasks when uh, they are asked beforehand uh, on how long it would take to complete a certain task. So... uh, these perceptions that we have about time are, are really uh, interesting to look at, and it's much better to have a, a tool in place that shows you exactly what you did and how long it took to do that uh, certain task. Right, so tell us a little, a little bit about the analytics that people see when they want to examine, for example, what did I do this week? Uh, they they can have a dashboard in Paymo that uh, shows them uh, various charts uh, on, depend uh, on the projects and tasks that they worked on, or they can uh, generate all kinds of custom reports and really go deep into uh, the way that they spend their time in a certain time frame for a certain client or a certain project. 
We're talking with Jan Lukat, who is the CEO and founder of Paymo, a company which has designed a fantastic piece of software, which towards the end we'll talk about how people can use it themselves, even a, even the free version. And this is a piece of software that, that I myself have used to keep track of my time. Jan, let's talk a little bit more about how someone running a small business might benefit by keeping track of time. Maybe you can give us some time management tips. Sure. I'll, I'll try to come up with some tips that um, uh, I've uh, learned from our users or by uh, observing on how people use our software. And hopefully your listeners will be able to put them to good use. Um, Time tracking is really important for a, a, a number of reasons, and one of the interesting ones that people underestimate is that it allows you to track uh, distractions that you have, especially in this day and age where you have distractions coming on uh, a different a bunch of different channels like Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, email. So uh, if you track your time, you, at the end of the day, you'll be able to see how much of the time that you spent uh, throughout the day was on productive tasks, how, how much of it was uh, actually spent on distractions that just uh, sort of pollute your day with uh, <laughs> useless stuff uh, if you really look at it. Right. I think the distractions, I, that's a very good point. One of the things that simply by keeping track of your time, one of the things that you can really do is if you have, if you're working on a project and then someone comes and distracts you, and now you have to click on Paymo. Okay, now I'm talking to my manager. All of a sudden, it comes to light that wait a second, I just stopped what I was doing, and I, you know, I stopped it, and I'm timing something else. And after a while, you begin to become better at managing your own day, and you say to people, or you close your door, and you say, you know, I'm busy. That way, you can really focus. It actually makes you a much more productive worker just to be aware of your time. That's, that's one of the things that I found. Exactly. And uh, it actually helps you uh, identify things that cause repeated drain on your time. And uh, once you figure out these, uh, these uh, things that drain your time on a day-to-day -day basis, you can then start thinking of ways on how to improve these processes. It could be technology, workflow, or um, on how you handle uh, people, for example, and uh, it can really help you uh, be more focused and productive. So, Jan, let's just switch gears a little bit because you are what we would call here a, a high-tech hero. You, you've really taken technology and presented in a way that people can use it to improve their businesses, which is really hopefully what a lot of the high-tech is all about. As a company itself, how did you end up uh, starting with this project and then becoming such a, a major player in the world of time management? We uh, initially started Paymo as an internal project. We had a small business, uh, consulting business. We were doing uh, web development and design. And we have had constant pains with uh, time estimates, with uh, wasted time with uh, overdue projects and we decided that we need a tool to better handle all these things and uh, we've looked at the market back in 2008 and we didn't fit, uh, find any uh, good fit for us so we decided to build it ourselves and after seeing it that it actually works we, we figured out that this could be a tool that other businesses and uh, people would, would be able to use and we started selling it. So you said you started selling, and that's for companies, but there is also, maybe you can tell us now, how can people try out the product for free? Sure. We have a free version. Uh, we like to call it that it's a free version for personal use that gives you access to all the features in Paymo, but it's limited to free active projects at a time. And we found out that uh, usually this is more than enough for people who want to use, use Paymo for uh, personal time tracking. And then if you, you see that the software could work for your company, then you can simply uh, sign up your company and start using it throughout the organization. All right. So that sounds great. It's a real good opportunity for people to test it out. Jan, in the last few seconds, just tell us how can people follow you? How can they try out the free version? And how can they keep track of the, the developments in the company? 
Sure. Uh, they can go to our website at uh, paymoapp.com or they, they can follow us on Twitter at uh, Paymo, simply twitter.com slash Paymo. And we have a blog that we use to communicate with our users. So if you want to check out what's new about Paymo, you, you can always check out our blog on our website, paymoapp.com. Okay, we've been talking to Jan Lukat from Paymo. Uh, Jan, we will certainly put links to all of what you just told us at the show notes of today's show at goldsteinongelt.com. And I just want to take time right now because we're measuring our time to thank you very, very much for joining us. Thanks for having me. You've been listening to the Goldstein on Gelt Show with money maven Doug Goldstein. Doug's weekly radio show is heard around the world. If you miss it, you can download the podcast at www.goldsteinongelt.com. The Goldstein on Gelt Show gives you up-to-date financial ideas so you can get on the path to financial freedom. If you'd like your questions answered on the air or off, Send Doug an email to Doug at profile-financial.com. It's your money for your future, so join Doug every week to build your wealth on the Goldstein on Wealth Show.